I'm announcing today uh, an expansion of pardon eligibility. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers signed an executive order Tuesday to help some convicted felons with nonviolent offenses to be eligible for pardons. We found there were folks who are not able to receive a pardon, not because of their crimes, not because their crimes were more serious or because they posed a greater risk to the community, but simply due to the timing of their convictions and their and the sentencing. One pardon story is served up here at Heaven's Table Barbecue on Milwaukee's east side. The owner of Heaven's Table Barbecue and the Crossroads Collective on Farwell and North is Jason Alston. Alston journeyed from prison to pardon by transforming a drug conviction into degrees from college and culinary, becoming a restaurateur. I wasn't going to get out blaming police, blaming government, blaming people for things I put myself through. It took Alston more than 20 years to earn his pardon. Governor Evers signed off this year. Do you feel like you're living hope for those who feel discouraged by the mistakes they've made? Absolutely. And for those that may have made decisions that I did in the past, there's a way out. You know, you can still go to college, you can still uh, succeed, you can still figure out what you want to do in life. In Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. The governor also created a new expedited process for pardon applications. The governor has pardoned 263 people since 2019. His office says he's on target to pardon more people in his first term than any governor in contemporary history.